Hey folks, what's going on? BQ here broadcasting live and direct from my hotel room at Shepard Air Force Base in Texas, where I've been for the last few weeks and I'll be here about another week and a half before I get to go back home. Hitting you guys with a little discussion question. It's almost my bedtime. You're hearing this first thing in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I wanted to do some content for the channel. Real simple question. This is something a lot of people really enjoy talking about online. They ask me all the time who I'd like to see in the division. So let's hear what you guys have to say. Who would you like to hear? No, I'm sorry, not hear, but who would you like to see in the knockouts division? I really think the knockouts division is still a great home for women's wrestling. You know, the main event scene for the males, a little thin. You know, they're having a hard time, you know, bringing in the bigger names. But the women's, the knockouts, there's still a lot of potential for that to be the best division in wrestling, best women's division in wrestling. And I think we're finally at a place where the potential was there. And I think it really took moving away from Gail Kim. I hate seeing her go. I really do. But we've, I say we, like I'm part of the company. We just, <laughs> I will say they have fallen back on Gail Kim way too much. Every time they needed someone in the main event scene, every time they needed a, a champion, whether it was a Scott stopgap champion or um, someone to hold the title for a while, every time we needed a knockout in the main event, uh, we needed a surprise opponent. It's guess what? Gail Kim, you know, They've counted on Gail for a long time. Now they're forced to do something different, to hitch their wagon onto different knockouts. And she's still a part, you know, she she's the reason the knockouts division is what it is, and she's still a part of it backstage. So I really think this is the time for the division to really grow. And, you know, if I were them, if I were booking this, you know, this t last set of tapings in Canada they d that they did, I would have really focused on the knockouts division. We'll see if that's what they do as the weeks go on and we watch it. But I want to know who you guys want to see. If it were me, if you're asking me, I have, there, there's five women on the indies that I like a lot. Um, Santana Garrett, Tessa Blanchard, Rachel Ellering, Priscilla Kelly, and Amber Gallows. I think they're all fairly realistic. I have to believe Santana Garrett likes doing what she's doing. So I really think she's out of the question. I think Tessa, Rachel are realistic. I think uh, Priscilla Kelly is a future star. And Ember Gallows is a lot older, but she's really good in the ring. So um, those are the five. If I, had to, if I had to choose anybody out there, it would definitely be those five. So what do you guys think? Those of you who are fans of women's wrestling on the indies, who would you like to see make up the knockouts division? Because there's some room. There's not a lot of room, but there's some room. Maybe not in the, you know, the the top half of the division, but there there's some there's some room. Um, now they've had a hard time getting women on TV who who didn't already have some kind of name for themselves, and that's been my big knock on the division. So we'll see. We'll see going forward, but I think this is the time for the knockouts. I really do. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see in the division. Thanks for swinging by. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Please hit subscribe if it's your first time here. And I'm out.